Hi students, today I am going to explain the tips to find the oxidation numbers. These tips are very useful. By using these tips, you can find the oxidation number of an atom in a molecule. Oxidation number is the charge that is assigned to an atom in a molecule or an ion. These are the tips which are useful to find the oxidation number. Tip number 1. For elements in their elementary state, oxidation number is 0. For gases in their elementary state, oxidation number is 0. Let us see the examples. Copper, iron, sulfur, sodium. These are the elements. In their elementary state means natural existence, their oxidation state is zero. And gases like hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, the oxidation state is zero. This is the tip number one. Now coming to the tip number two. For hydrogen, the oxidation number is always plus one. Except, except. Metal hydrides like CaH2 and NaH, the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus 1. Keep it in mind, this is important. Except these type of metal hydrides, remaining all, oxida all the uh, elements oxidation number of hydrogen is always plus 1. Tip number 3. For oxygen, the oxidation number is minus 2, except, except in OF2, the oxidation number of oxygen is plus 2 and peroxides like H2O2 and Na2O2, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 1. Except these two, the oxygen oxidation number is always minus 2. Tip number 4. Fluorine oxidation number is always minus 1. Tip number 5. 1A group elements called alkali metals oxidation number is plus 1. Alkaline earth metals that is 2A group elements oxidation number is always plus 2. Tip number 6. While we are finding the oxidation number of a molecule, it is the algebraic sum of oxidation number of all the atoms in the molecule. Suppose you are finding the oxidation number for A atom in AB molecule. Then you have to write A plus B is equal to 0. Suppose you are finding oxidation number for A in AB2, then you have to write A plus 2 into B which is equal to 0 because this is a neutral molecule, it is not having any charge on it. Suppose if you are finding the oxidation number of A in AB minus, then A plus B which is equal to minus 1. This is the tip number 6. Now, let us find oxidation number of some elements in these examples. Using those tips, find the oxidation number of chromium in potassium dichromate. First, write tip number 6. 2 into K plus 2 into Cr plus 7 into O which is equal to 0. Potassium belongs to 1A group so its oxidation number is plus 1. 2 into plus 1 plus 2 into we are going to find the oxidation number of chromium in potassium dichromate so take it as X plus 7 into oxygen oxidation number is minus 2 which is equal to 0 plus 2 plus 2x 7 2s are 14 which is equal to 0 2x is equal to plus 12 
then x is equal to plus 6 this is the oxidation number of chromium in potassium dichromate so easy right students now try to find the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfuric acid 2 into h plus s plus 4 into oxygen is equal to 0 hydrogen oxidation number is always plus 1 2 into plus 1 take it as x sulfur because we are going to find the oxidation number of sulfur plus 4 into each oxygen oxidation number is minus 2 which is equal to 0 so plus 2 plus x minus 8 is equal to 0 x is equal to plus 6 plus 6 is the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfuric acid now students click on the pass button now try to find the oxidation number of manganese in potassium permanganate and phosphorus in phosphoric acid after trying you will see the answer now check your answers Oxidation state of manganese in KMnO4 is plus 7. Oxidation state of phosphorus in phosphoric acid is plus 5. If you got the correct answers, you are perfect in oxidation number concept. If you didn't get the correct answer, once again see this video. If you like these tips, please click on like button and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel.